Indeed. Hi, good old. Hi, good morning. Well, my name is Venkat. I'm a SaaS trainer and uh, also clinical SaaS project trainer. Uh, mainly, we deal with uh, the clinical SaaS project, uh, the end-to-end uh, -end work, which includes the C discuss TTM, Adams, tables and listings and figures. Uh, what we do is uh, we will go through, you know, so the you know some you know, explanation about uh, what is the main roles and responsibilities of clinical SaaS programming. Okay, so what we do is, uh, you know, so in order to start this particular session, we will go through some basics. So what do you mean by C disk? CDISC is nothing but Clinical Data Interchange Standard Consortium, uh, which is a non-profitable organization, which is formed in uh, uh, 1997 by a group of volunteers in the US. And the main aim of the CDISC is to uh, speed up the drug development process. Speed up the drug development process. Uh, they have a number of standards which are platform independent standards which are enabled to you know, speed up the, the drug development process. Okay, so most of the companies are using CDs conversion nowadays. The the CDs standards we can easily download from cdisc.org. Cdisc.org. Okay, so the current version of the, the so mainly the CDs we deal with STTM and Adams. And also, we can work on tables and listings figures. Okay, the C disk. The we will talk about STTM and Adams, right? So the C disk is mainly uh, involved in uh, creation of some programs, sorry, some standards. Okay, so the STTM is nothing but stat study data tabulation model, study data tabulation model. So the STTM has some fixed domains according to 3.2 domains, 3.2 version, right? So we have special purpose domains. The first one is special purpose domains, okay, which are, you know, so special purpose domains. based on this, based on the observations. So you know, right, so, so from screening to end of the, end of the, end of the trial, so we'll be getting enormous data. So we have to prioritize the data. So we have to, you know, manage the data properly according to the CD standards. So what we have is, so based on the values, okay, the CD has divided into some classifications. The first one is special purpose domains. Okay, so this special purpose domains contains some fixed domains. Okay, the first one is demographic, DM means demographic, CO, CO means comments, and SV, SV means subject visits, SC means subject elements. So we'll be dealing with the four domains in special purpose domain, special purpose domains. And the second one is nothing but the, the interventions, interventions. Right, interventions are nothing but treatment related domains. The treatment related domains are nothing but exposure, the study drug information, and uh, the concomitant medication, and exposure as collected, and procedures, procedures and the substance used. These are all the domains that fix the domains. So when you want to go to any company, so any organization, it will take, you'll get two to three days time to complete the development and validation for one domain. Okay, the third one is, so you can say that events, events category, okay, general observation process. So these are all nothing but adverse event, medical history, adverse events, medical history, and uh, disposition and protocol deviation and we have the new to, new to mine is added healthcare encounters ho right these are all the domains we will be talking about right in events classification and then findings 
findings. Findings are nothing but results oriented domains. Okay, so we have a number of domains uh, in the findings. Mainly we deal with lab, vital signs, physical examination, questionnaires, and uh, death details according to new or domain 3.2, and inclusion and exclusion criteria, and pharmacokinetics, pharmacoparameters, okay, and then pharmacoparameters and microbiology, and then questionnaires. So these are all examples of the findings, right? And uh, the trial design models, we have trial design models. So trial design models are planned domains. So mainly you have trial arms, trial visits, trial inclusion, trial exclusion, and the trial summary, and then trial, trial elements. And these are all the domains. And then trial disease assessment, which is TD. Okay, these are all the domains from the trial design models. So whenever the raw data is not exactly, you know, fit to the, the main domain, so we'll be creating a supplementary qualifiers. So we call sub qualifiers. So these are all the other category. Okay, so mainly we'll be working on these are all the domains. Okay, as a STTM programmer, we do the mapping. So based on the specification and list or STTM IG. Okay, so, so we'll be uh, working on at least uh, 15 domains when we talk about these sessions. Okay, so for one domain, so we'll take one hour or two hours to explain completely. And ADAMS, ADAMS is analysis data models. Okay, so mainly, mainly we will be dealing with ADSL and then we have BDS structure. So ADSL is only one domain, so which is forced to you know, create it from different, different domains. Okay, and then BDS is basic data structure which has ADLP, and then ADVS, etc. Domains are added. So apart from that, so we'll be working on tables, listings, and uh, figures. So tables, we'll be working tables and listings and figures. We call TLF. Okay. The main the the workflow of the clinical science programming is the first you'll be getting the raw data from the client. So once the raw data is you know. Uh, the data check. So we'll be using CDs conversion and we'll be creating STTM outputs. STTM outputs. And uh, sorry. And then once you created STTM outputs, we'll be creating Adams, Adams domains, outputs, Adam outputs. Okay. And then once you created the Adam outputs, then you'll be working on listings and like tables. Okay, and uh, graphs. Okay, so this is the basically the, the workflow of any, you know, the companies who follow as a you know, clinical science programmer, you'll be working on almost all these areas. So in order to get this, you know, the the entire clinical science project, so it will take at least, you know, 45 hours to complete, you know, one, at least, you know, so 15 to 20 domains in STTM and the five to six domains in Adams. We'll be working on listings and tables. Okay, so I'll give you some, you know, some one study, phase one study. Based on the phase one study, we'll be creating all the domains. If you have, if you need more help, please contact us for, you know, to conduct the demo and all the classes. Okay, so my contact number is nine six zero three four two five four six five. Right. So thank you so much for uh, your concern. And this is my, you know, so just, you know, I want to give you a clinical SaaS project training, which is mainly we deal with series, STTM and Adams tables and listings. So this is my, you know, contact number and the duration is 45 days. Okay, and the email address, email ID is sas11.banket.gmail.com. Okay, thank you so much.